Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. We do indeed have some dinosaur news today, but we have a few other things to talk about as well. Just so you know, the news that we're going to be talking about is about fossil footprints of early birds freshly evolved from dinosaurs. Wonderful, wonderful times. But first, we're going to move our stoves because our furnaces, stoves, whatever you want to call them, need to be moved into our home. This is, this is going to be a little bit stressful for me because I guess I need to throw away my leather. Oh uh, no, let's throw away this instead. I, I don't need that. That's gross. That's gross. Alright, so three things three things of coal left. I'm going to throw away my gravel. Alright, very good. Let's go ahead and deposit this stuff. And then we will move our stoves, our furnaces... Ooh, so you guys may have noticed that I do not want this gravel. You guys may have noticed that over the past couple of days, we uh, haven't been putting out videos every day. We've been putting videos out about every two days, and indeed that will be continuing for a couple more days because I have a friend who is coming to Korea to sightsee, and I must join my friend and help my friend figure out where that they need to go and what things they need to see. Because there are many things to see in Korea, and of course my friend does not live here, so, you know, traveling is stressful, and, you know, you need, you need to help your friends. That's basically how life boils down to. So, I need to help my friend figure out where to go for sightseeing in Korea. I'll probably be making a video every two days, possibly more often if we're lucky. I, I don't know about scheduling and stuff like that. But I, I will do my best, and in order to try to keep up with my general view count so that I can pay my bills, I will probably be playing only Minecraft Dinosaurs and Minecraft Pokemon during this time. So I hope that you guys understand, and I hope that you guys enjoy the episodes that we make during this time period, because, you know, the holidays are coming up soon. Holiday time is always stressful for everyone having to buy presents and things like that. And on top of all the other stress, we now have to deal with the Google Plus inter integration. I haven't talked about this yet in Minecraft Dinosaurs, but I, I want to talk about this just a little bit. In the meantime, we are going to attempt to go find some more fossils, because it's been a while since we've gone on a fossil hunt, and I indeed want to go find... Let's see, what, what do I not need to go on this fossil hunt. E I do not need so much dirt. I don't need string. I don't need a lot of this stuff. Alright, and let's see if I can grab some coal to make some more torches. But yeah, we, we haven't talked about Google Plus in integration yet on this channel because generally, uh, well, I do like to complain, that's a lie. I, I enjoy complaining quite a lot, but generally I've tried to avoid complaining about Google Plus because, I don't know, maybe some of you really love it. A lot of you are still commenting on our videos, so clearly you guys have Google Plus because you can comment. I cannot comment on our videos, and let me tell you how angry that makes me. I cannot comment on our videos. I can't say hello to you guys. I can't tell you that yes, I read your comments, but yes, trust me, I did read all of your comments. We are not going to be naming a dinosaur or a dodo or anything this episode, by the way, because although I did read your guys' comments, there weren't that many of them. I wonder why. Probably because a certain someone called Google Plus is preventing our subscribers from being able to comment because they don't have Google Plus yet. So any of you that don't have Google Plus like me, you're going through the same sort of bull crap. But you have to worry about whether or not you're going to be able to tell people that yes, you read their comments, yes, you care about their feedback, yes, you are an important subscriber to me. I can't tell you guys any of that. And I'm afraid that that's not going to change anytime soon because unless YouTube changes it back to where we don't need a YouTube... Uh, Google Plus account in order to comment, I will not be commenting on any of my videos ever again. If you would like to contact me, please email me or contact me via Facebook. As I've been saying for quite a long time, the Facebook group is probably the best way to contact me. Ooh, I never noticed that those fossils were right there. Let's climb up there and get those. But yeah, the Facebook group is probably the easiest way to contact me among all of the other ways. 
I do suggest that you go to the Facebook group and like it. If you don't use Facebook, I'm very sorry. My email is always available to you as well. But I'm far more likely to respond to Facebook in a generally fast time manner. I also use my email for important things like getting in contact with developers for games. So unfortunately, that does take precedence over responding to subscriber emails. Although some of my best emails that I've, I've loved to get have all come from my email account. So that's not to say that I never check it. I do check it often. It's just that there are other things in my email that have pressing needs. But yeah, in general, Google Plus integration. Not happy about it. In fact, I'm pretty freaking angry. Uh, I was really happy when Google bought YouTube because I was like, great, YouTube is going to be able to put interesting ads now that Google uses through AdSense. People like me are going to be able to pay our bills because we can have ads on our our videos and stuff and ads on our channels and it's just a generally great idea to buy YouTube because hey ads but then then Google Plus had to come along and Google Plus was like yo I don't have enough people using me and no one really loves me so I think the best way to force people into a relationship with me is just to force them to use me now ladies and gentlemen I know that a lot of you are a little bit young to be in relationships but it, let, let me just give you some advice. This is not the way to start a relationship with a person, with a company, with an organization, or to get people to use your social networking service. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. In fact, it's making people hate Google+. Because not only is Google+, now required to comment, but you now need Google+, to do some really ridiculous things. Like, I can't review which of my comments are spam. Which means that a ton of my comments are getting logged as spam from you guys, from my subscribers. And I can't even check to see what they are, let alone tell the tell YouTube that they're not spam so that they can be displayed. And why is this? Because I don't have a Google Plus account. And even if I were to get a Google Plus account, which I will not be doing, it doesn't work very well. There are all kinds of videos right now on YouTube about how Google Plus integration has completely failed at doing anything that it's supposed to do. Ooh, iron. Delicious. Alright, so we're, we're gonna go down here, clearly. But yeah, it's completely failed at doing anything that it was supposed to do. And a question may come, how is that even possible that they failed so spectacularly? Well, first of all, you, uh... It used to be that we would get lots of updates for our subscribers and things that would be going on. Uh, maybe, maybe use dirt? Yeah, I can use dirt. Our comments that we were getting via YouTube, because you know, this is YouTube. We should get our notifications in YouTube. But now apparently, some people think that it would be just freaking great if we could get our comments no comment notifications in Google+, Plus, which is not a good idea because lots of us refuse to get Google+. Plus. Yeah, I know. Funny, right? So we can't see where comments are going on our videos, so we can't check where the new comments are coming from. Uh, when we do use Google+, Plus from the videos that I've seen, it doesn't even show you the comments. It just takes you to the comments in general for the video, which is not a very good way to set up comments. Yes, I'm aware that you can now reply to people, which is very useful for some people using the Google+, Plus replying mechanic for YouTube. But you could have done that without Google+. Plus. I don't understand why YouTube couldn't have had a replying mechanic before it introduced Google+. Plus. I don't, I don't know. It seems like they thought, oh, well, this would be a good mechanic to add. Let's add it in with Google+, Plus so that people will somehow associate the two with one another. Yeah, guess what, YouTube? We don't do that. We know what you're doing, and it sucks. And in addition to that, <laughs> uh, you guys may have noticed that there's no longer a character limit on YouTube posts, which is amazing. That's a good idea. However... It's not a good idea when you remember that the internet is full of trolls and hateful people and people who really don't care about real content and real comments. They really just want to spam. In fact, I got a spam comment on one of my videos earlier. It was like this little dude, he was like a, like a stick figure. And the message was, copy and paste him everywhere so he takes over YouTube and then YouTube will reinstate the old comment system. 
Except that first of all, that's not true. That's not going to make YouTube do anything. Second of all, that's spam, which is a problem with it. A lot of people, I think, actually are spamming just to make YouTube realize that what they've done is a terrible idea. And I guess I'm okay with that, but I'm not really cool with it on my videos. So I tried to delete the spam comment because this is actually spam, unlike a ton of the comments that are caught as spam in the spam filter, which is freaking terrible. And I couldn't delete it. Why could I not delete it? Because there was an error. Basically everything is errors. Everything is errors in the new comments section. It's ridiculous. It makes me sad. So to make matters worse on top of me not getting as many comments as I used to because my subscribers don't have Google Plus just like I don't. In addition to that, <laughs> in addition to that, we also have issues with me not being able to deal with the spam comments as well as comments that aren't really spam being marked as spam. So basically everything is broken. Everything is broken and it makes me very sad. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm incredibly upset at YouTube for taking what is basically my livelihood into their hands and being like, well, we're going to use your livelihood and sacrifice it for the sake of getting more people using Google+. And I'm just not cool with that at all. I think it's very anti-consumer. I think it's exploitative. And it makes me angry. And I realize that many of you who are between the ages of like 10 and 14, maybe a lot of you don't really care very much. But I do. I've contacted YouTube at least three times over the past few days. And th both through the feedback as well as the partner contact stuff. And I'm like, YouTube, please make this stop. I don't want any part of this. I didn't want the one channel layout. I didn't want this. I did not ask for this. I never wanted this. If you had asked my opinion, I would have told you no. But the fact of the matter is, is that really, YouTube does not care. YouTube only wants more views for advertisers. Because clearly, the people making the content, we are not really their customers. And that makes me sad. Because I would like to know that YouTube has got my back. But clearly, they don't. Ooh, hello, Mineshaft. So, I don't know. I mean, currently I'm still making videos. Things are still going okay. But, I don't know how long that's going to last. I don't know if randomly YouTube is going to become something ridiculous like Google Video, which was a terrible, wasted space on the internet that no one loved, and it was it was awful. We like YouTube. We, we want YouTube. I'm fine with Google owning YouTube. I'm not cool with Google using YouTube to try to get Google Plus subscribers and subscribers. Users, users. Yeah, social networking is not your thing, Google. You need to give up on that. You need to focus on something that's actually useful, like YouTube. And you need to work with content creators and actually listen to us. Because, you know, we're the ones who make the videos, and if you treat us badly, we will go to Vimeo or some other place. I still have all of my videos that I've uploaded. I will upload them, and I will get money from another website. I really couldn't care less, YouTube. I mean, sure, I may not get as many views, but as more people leave you because you're a jerk now, it's, I guess my views would go up. It's really not that big of a deal for me, personally. Oh, man. I realize that YouTube is never going to watch my video, but I hope that you guys do, and I hope you guys understand my frustrations, and I hope you voice your frustrations to YouTube, because indeed, YouTube is a company, and if enough people get really angry at them, they can change things, because they don't want to hurt their bottom line. Money is good, and they do not want to hurt their money, so that's, that's basically all there is to it. I guess now we can move on to our dinosaur news for the day. So, essentially, this is a, a little bit... Uh, it's about dinosaurs, but not exactly. It's about modern-day dinosaurs, the birds. As you guys know, sometime in the early Cretaceous, some dinosaurs were like, Dude, these, these evolutionary adaptations that we keep piling up in order to deal with selective pressures of the environment seem to be making us quite different from our cousins, the other dinosaurs. They started getting more hollow bones, they started getting feathers, they got really bird-like, and then eventually became modern birds. And in Australia, specifically in Dinosaur Cove, oh, I love the name of that place, Dinosaur Cove. Sounds like something directly out of Jurassic Park. 
but this is actually from the early Cretaceous. So, Dinosaur Cove in the early Cretaceous substrata, they found in Victoria, Australia, that's where Dinosaur Cove is, in Victoria, Australia, in Dinosaur Cove, they found the oldest fossilized tracks of modern birds ever found. So this is literally the oldest stuff ever found in the history of paleontology, which makes it a really big deal, because we, we, we've we known for quite a while that birds were around during the early Cretaceous, because the Cretaceous was when all sorts of crazy stuff was happening. Ooh, creepy cave sounds. But, it wasn't until just now that we've had these wonderful new fossilized bird tracks. And bird tracks are amazing because they can tell us all sorts of things about the flight dynamics of birds. And they can tell us about the bone structure in the feet of birds. They can tell us all sorts of very interesting information about the kinds of birds that were there at that point in time. How far along on the evolution towards modern birds these birds were. As you know, like, most birds today, they have wings, right? Uh, some wings aren't very useful, like the ostriches can't fly, and penguins can't fly. Clearly, dodos couldn't fly, although ostriches use their wings as a balancing mechanics. When they run, they use them to balance, so wings can have multiple purposes, as the penguins also know. But... We don't know these things very well about the old dinosaurs, the very early birds, the early, early Cretaceous birds. And so finding these tracks tells us a lot about them. The, uh, I was talking about wings just a second ago, and you guys know that most birds today have wings that are useful for flying, but those wings evolved from hands. You know, theropod dinosaurs that walked along on two legs they had claws on their hands, and they used those to grab prey and, like, maybe pick up eggs. I don't know. They used their hands for hand things. And there is indeed one species of bird that I know of today that has claws on the ends of its wings. That thing lives in, like, South America or something like that, and that is an awesome bird. Oh, creeper. We're good. No problem. Oh, you uncovered a fossil for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. But yes, so, finding fossils of tracks and not actual birds. Only a wishbone has been found in Dinosaur Cove, by the way, of actual early modern birds. The actual bones and not the tracks themselves, but... So these tracks tell us a lot about those birds. Uh, they had a hind toe. If you're aware of theropod dinosaurs, they usually have three front toes, and some species had a back toe. For example... T-Rex had a vestigial back toe, meaning that it wasn't really very big, it wasn't used very much, so it was, it was slowly disappearing over time. Sort of like the T-Rex's front hands were getting smaller and smaller and becoming vestigial, although there is some research to suggest that the front limbs of T-Rex were used for courting and, and mating practices and things like that, but... The back toes in these birds were very important because in the fossil tracks they made basically like these skid marks as the uh, the primary researcher, by the way. The primary researcher was a professor from the University of uh, Emory University in Atlanta, actually. So he traveled, oh, hello skeleton. He traveled all the way to Australia to check out these tracks because he specializes in bird tracks and nests and burrows and things like that and he was he actually found some evidence of the original burrows and nests of dinosaurs the non-avian dinosaurs to show that indeed non-avian dinosaurs had a lot of characteristics of avian dinosaurs as well as modern birds such as burrowing and nesting and things like that so he knows what he's talking about he's he's an awesome professor clearly uh, so if you want to read about this research, you can either go to ScienceDaily.com or you can read about it in the Journal of Paleontology. It was just published not too long ago, within the last week, so you should be able to find it, no problem. Probably in the... the October? Let's, let's eat something. I'm, I'm very hungry. Yes, probably in the October subscription. So 
So many fossils. Seriously though, we we really need to find some new dinosaurs. Like, I I feel cheated out of my dinosaurs, ankylosaurs. I'm probably gonna find a cranidos or cranidos or whatever it's called. The uh, what in the world? Spiders everywhere. And the Pachycephalosaurus Pokemon, and oh, oh, hello, so that's where you guys are, nice to know, um, I'm just... I'm, I'm not gonna do anything about that, actually, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave you guys there, I, I don't wanna deal with you. Nope, don't need it. Not gonna worry about it. Don't want to deal with poison spiders. Zombies everywhere, turning around. Yes. So those the hind toe bones, the the hind toes of these little modern birds made skid marks in the tracks. And this guy, he's really awesome with tracks and bird tracks and stuff. So we knew what they were right away. Basically, they're caused when birds come in for a landing, since they're going quite fast, and they flap their wings to slow them down. When they're doing that, sometimes they drag their back toes on the sand or the dirt, and they make these little skid marks, so he knew those immediately. And th these are very useful, because they can tell us a lot about maybe the evolution of modern bird flight, if we look at how the flight characteristics of the early... Ooh. More spiders, so many freaking spiders. Why are there so many spiders? I, I don't want to deal with the giant spiders. I'm great. So it can tell us it can tell us about modern bird flight and the evolution of modern bird flight by looking at how these skid marks tell us things about the flight dynamics. Oh, 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 no, 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 die, die, die. Um I don't, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're good, we're good. But yes, modern flight dynamics. Tell us about them. Old bird fossil tracks. Wonderful, wonderful. Oldest in the world. Tell your friends, tell your family, because everyone loves to hear about dinosaur news. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you in a few days. Cantaloupe.